You know, making art for me is like breathing. It's been so much part of my life forever. I can't imagine not making art. Um, I'm not sure where it comes from. I just know where it lands, and it lands on a surface. I feel like it's something that I have to do. I feel like it's a gift that's been given me. And I feel like I'm communicating for those, to those and for those who might not experience a sunset or might not take time to relax on a beach or whatever the, the visual is that I am laying down, that's an experience that, some, that will be translated for someone else to experience later. Through the years, I have moved from working on a paper to working on um, aqua board, which is a fabulous surface because it really allows me to say the most that I can say with my watercolors because it allows me to get my greatest flows. It allows me to get the super darks that I like to have in my paintings. It allows me to get high key color, really bright color. I can also reach down and pull other colors out from below a dark or below a bright. I can lift lights back. I can take any color back to white by lifting off the existing pigment that I've put on there. It's almost like a sculpture. The beauty of it when I get all those things put together is that I don't have to put my paintings under glass and the viewer can really enjoy the passages that happen in watercolor and all the flows that happen there. I've been a painter as long as I, as far back as I can remember. I was about 30 when I started painting full time. I decided it was do or die and I was had a certain amount of money in the bank and said, if it ever gets below that, then this is a hobby. If it stays there, it's a career. And many, many years later, I'm still painting. I have taught all over the country. I've taught not only in public schools and private schools, but I've also taught as a workshop instructor. Um, that's been probably my greatest joy, has been the ability to, to share all the things that I've discovered in my career as a uh, watercolorist. My life has led me now to being the executive director for Arts for Rural Texas, known as ARTS, and it's an educational organization, 501c3 nonprofit. So not only do I get to continue to teach, but I get to work with artists, I get to work with students, I get to work with children. This is really a great re reflection of my life in that as a child I grew up with a, in a small town with a great art organization where I was nurtured in the arts and now here I am later able to do the same thing. It's just the apex of everything that I've done in my life where it's coming together and I am full.